As promised during his campaign, President Trump pulled the U.S. out of the Paris Climate Accord today. The president said the deal, which is aimed at reducing carbon emissions to slow climate change, hurts the U.S. by cutting jobs and lowering wages. But he says he'll begin negotiations to re-enter either the Paris Accord or an entirely new agreement. As president, I can put no other consideration before the well-being of American citizens. The Paris Climate Accord is simply the latest example of Washington entering into an agreement that disadvantages the United States to the exclusive benefit of other countries. Under President Obama, the U.S. agreed to reduce emissions 26 to 28 percent by the year 2025. And despite today's decision by President Trump, lawmakers here in Hawaii say the state is prepared to address climate change as it pertains to Hawaii. We anticipated something like this and said, let's put together some legislation for Hawaii that if the U.S. pulls out, gives us the legal basis to continue funding and to continue our, our programs on climate change and um, sea level rise and adaptation and mitigation. The state legislature passed the measure this past session, which creates the Hawaii Climate Change Commission. It allows the state to adopt the science and findings behind the Paris Accord.